it's bananas. Who's tails as long as daddy's? Who's swinging on the vines? She has two bunny ears, just like her mother's ears. And everyone is asking, whoever can she be? Bum 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 What makes a gift? Oh wow! What beautiful flowers! Zabzu, today is my and your mother's anniversary. I also got her these gifts. That's so sweet, Daddy. Perfume, jewelry, and your mom's favorite chocolates. But wait, Daddy, you can't give them to her like this. Presents should be wrapped up nicely. After all, the most important part of a gift is that it's pretty. Somehow I didn't think about that. Don't worry, I'll wrap it up for you. Great idea, and I'll get dinner ready. Beautiful necklace. Beautiful chocolates. And now, I'll need a beautiful box for them. Because the most important part of a gift is beauty. Actually, I have a beautiful box at home. <laughs> it was lovely. There used to be a cake in it. Oh, it was so delicious. You should go get it. Be right back. Zabizu, can I smell the perfume a bit? Mmm, just a little. The most important part of a gift is the smell. Can I put a little bit on? Just a little bit. Yeah, that smell. Okay then, me too. We used up half of the perfume! Zabizu, can I try on the necklace? No way! Just for a little bit! Then I'll give them right back! You can't! These are for my mom! Lisa, look what we've done! Don't worry, don't worry! We'll get all the beads and put them back on their string! One, two, three, four. There, I fixed it. And I fixed it too. But now there are two necklaces. Here, your box. Thanks, Bobby. It's a perfect box. Can I try one of the chocolate candies? Only one. Mm, okay, but just one. The best part of a gift is the taste. Zebazoo, it's time. Is the gift wrapped? Yes, Daddy. Hold on, Zebazoo. Ah, thank you, Lisa. It turned out so beautiful. After dinner, the family gathered around the table to give Zabuzu's mom her gifts. Honey, this is for you. Oh, what a beautiful gift this is. Ooh, these are such cute bracelets. Hmm. Mmm, my favorite chocolates. But it looks like someone has already eaten one. Mm-hmm. Ooh, my favorite perfume! But it seems that someone's already been using it. Yeah? Daddy, I'm sorry. I wanted to make your gift beautiful, but I only ended up... It's okay, sweetheart. These are just trinkets. 
The important thing is, your dad never forgets our anniversary. That day, Sibazu learned the most important part of a gift is not the beauty, the smell, and not the taste. The most important part is love. Zabuzu brought her new ball to kindergarten to play with all her friends. Children, watch out for puddles. What do we say? Children who are nice and sweet. We stay clean and neat. Yes, that's right. What a beautiful ball. So shiny. Let's play soccer. <laughs> Bobby, stop kicking my ball right now! But this is soccer. Go find your own ball to kick. You tell him, Zubizu. We're not going to kick it. How about we play basketball? Hey, stop! You're slamming my ball into the ground. Well, yeah. This is basketball. The ground, it's gross. Watch out, Paula. The water's clean. But water's wet. Don't get my ball wet. I'm going to play with it by myself, alone. Zubazu played with her ball by herself. No one kicked him, soiled him, or dropped him in the water. But for some reason, she felt sad and lonely. Uh, stay here for now. I'm just going to go down the slide one time. Don't even think about touching him. soccer with him? Or basketball? Watch your poa. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Please help me. I missed my ball. Hmm. We just need to get you a bit closer. Oh, it's working! Keep going! I almost got him! You hear that? Just a little bit more. And one, and two, and three, and... We 
did it! We rescued him! Thanks, guys! Children, why are you in a puddle? What did we just say? Children who are nice and sweet... They stay clean and neat. Go get cleaned up. Immediately! On that day, Zabuzu realized that even the most beautiful ball could never replace her friends. Surprise egg. Today, Mommy's friend, Mrs. Jilly, came for a visit. Sabazoo, you've grown so much. Wow, a baby, and what a cutie pie. So get this, sugar. I was at this baby store today. They didn't have a single decent crib. Not one. Well... Take the one that belonged to Zabazoo. She has grown out of it already. How about that? Well, thank you, Sugar. That would be wonderful. And what if, what if while you go to the attic to get the crib, I watch the baby? May I? Pretty, pretty, please. Just make sure the baby doesn't wake up before it's time. Okay, so there's more. Get this. Coochie, coochie, coo. Who is the sweetest bundle here? Who is such a little baby? <gasps> Siri Alexa, how can I put a baby to sleep? Not long ago, Daddy gave Zabuzu a super smart speaker that is always ready to give advice. Hmm, to make babies sleep, parents tell them fairy tales. Got it! Babies love fairy tales! In a deep, dark forest, there was a sweetie, pretty gingerbread house. And in that house lived an evil witch who loved to eat little babies. <gasps> sorry, sorry, don't be afraid. I'll stop. <gasps> Siri Luxa, the fairy tale didn't help. What do I do? Hmm, if fairy tales don't work, Give the baby a warm bath. <laughs> what? The bath didn't help either. Well, in that case, Maybe try singing a lullaby? My, oh my, you're my sweetheart. Baby's cradle's rocking hard. <gasps> Sir Alexa, the egg cracked. Is there something I can do? Hmm, if eggs crack, break them into a container and put in a fridge. Put in a fridge. Put in a fridge. No, let me deal with it. Here we go. Just need some bandages. Nobody will notice. Okay, okay, be <gasps> careful. My, oh my, you're my sweetheart. Baby's cradle's oh, heart. That was quite a workout. 
The crib is so heavy. All are sleeping in the house, cat and dog and little mouse. Honey bunny, is everything all right? Everything is super fine. Egg is sleeping quietly. Thank you, dear. Job well done. Now let me hold my baby. Oh! <gasps> Mama! <gasps> oh, we switched strollers at the store. In the evening, Zabuzu told her daddy the story about this egg surprise. Oh! Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's great news. Dilly found the mom of the baby ostrich, so everything is fine. Dad, mom, when I was in the egg, are you sure you didn't switch me with another one? <laughs> <laughs> Zabuzu, don't you know, bunnies don't hatch from eggs. Neither do monkeys. Phew, that's a relief. That's real awesome. Means I'm truly yours.